Welcome and thank you for joining me for this YouTube workout. We're going to do a beginner full body workout. So let's get started with some footwork. I've got three red or three heavy springs on. I'm going to come down onto the carriage and get myself set up here, shoulders against the shoulder rest, and I'm comfortably on the carriage. I'm going to bring my feet onto the bar. So my balls of the feet are on and I create a V. So my toes are apart, heels are together, and my knees are tracking over the center of my feet. We're gonna press the carriage out and then return. So let's just get that movement started and then we, we can review some of the basics, like breathing. So what I'd like you to do is exhale as you press out and exhale like you're blowing through a straw. And then as you return, I want you to inhale through the nose. So exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose. For every exercise, I'm going to tell you the breathing. And you may find that you end up inhaling when I'm exhaling or vice versa. If that's happening, don't panic. Just keep going. Just keep breathing. The main thing is don't hold your breath. But if you can breathe, the same as I'm telling you, it can help with the movement. Let's do four more. Inhale to return. Three. And two. And one. All right, we're going to keep the breathing the same, but we're going to just change our foot position. So I'm going to bring my feet together, and I'm going to wrap my toes over the bar. I'm on the ball of my feet. I press out and return. So you just want a gentle wrap of your fingers on top of the bar as you're going out and in. And I want you to think about now what's happening in the center of your body. Because Pilates is all about control. We want to move the legs, so the hip joint and the knee joint, but we want to keep the pelvis set. I can feel the bone between my glutes, heavy on the carriage here, and I'm not rocking it. I'm not rocking my pelvis forward and back. I'm keeping it level. And come on in. Now, let's switch our feet to the heels, legs still together, and again, exhale, press out, inhale, return. Footwork is all about working your feet on the bar in different positions. You've got a ton of muscles in your feet and ankles. And by just moving around that foot bar, you can access different ones. It will also help you access muscles differently up above. So for instance, pressing with your heels here, you should be able to feel more work on the posterior side. Let's do two more. Inhale as you return. Remember, don't hold your breath. And last one. Okay. Go on to the balls of the feet again, but this time act like you're standing on your tiptoes. Right at the end of the ball of the feet, heels lifted. And press out. That's it. We exhale to press. Inhale to return. And I want you to feel a stretch through the knees as you press out. And you're returning the carriage with control. You're not just letting the springs do the work for you. You're actually resisting against them on the way in a little bit. Let's do four more. Try to stay in the center of the ball of the foot all the way through the full range of motion. And now press out again, and let's hold it out there. From here, lower the heels and lift. So it's a calf raise, right? You reach the heels under, and you lift up. Exhale as you, as you lower, and inhale as you lift. <sighs> Doesn't have to be fast. Slow and controlled is actually going to give you a really good feeling of stretch as those heels go under. And I want you to think about where you feel the pressure on your foot on the bar. It should stay 
right in the center of the ball of the foot as you go under and as you come up. You feel that? Let's do two more. I don't know about yours, but mine are talking. One more. And then return the carriage. Let's just take your feet to the outsides of the bar here. So heels on the outside of the bar, pretty much as far as they'll go, and then rotate the legs open. Keep that position as you press out and in. This is our second position. And as we come in, your knees track over the center of your feet. This one is great for working the backside, the glutes, because the glutes do exactly this. They turn the legs out and they extend the hip. Four more. And exhale, three, two, and one. All right, come on in, and we're going to adjust our springs here. So I'm going to take it down to just two red or two heavy springs. And then I'm going to do some single leg work. I'm going to start with my right foot on the foot bar, right in line with my sit bone. And my left leg is tabletop. And then I just press out and in. Remember, we're going to exhale as we press out. You can always reverse that breathing if you prefer an inhale to feel like you're growing. As you press out, you can do that. A few more times, just like this. And now when you come in, take that tabletop leg and reach it over the bar. So we're going into a bicycle. So the foot just goes in and out. It stays at about the same height the whole time. You can inhale to press out, exhale to reach the leg over the bar. Same thing we were doing before, keeping the pelvis level. It's a bit trickier when you're just pressing with one leg. Let's do two more. And one more. And in. All right, we're going to switch sides. So now your left foot goes on. Remember, line the foot on the bar right up with your sit bone. That's a bone you can feel underneath your bum. And then keep the other leg tabletop for now as you press out. Keep your breath flowing. Inhale out. Exhale, return. Remember, switch the breathing if you prefer. Just don't hold your breath. Nice, and now as we come in, you're gonna stretch the leg over the bar. And back. Don't speed up, you can keep it at a nice controlled pace. And stretch. Four more. Three. Two. Hey guys, before we continue the workout, I just want to tell you about John Gary TV. On John Gary TV, you'll see workouts like this without any ads or any interruptions. We have literally thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We've got mat workouts, reformer workouts, all kinds of workouts, and we have lots of different subscriptions so you can find the one that's perfect for you. If you check out our link above, you'll see that your subscription is 50% off your first month. I hope you'll join me over on John Gary TV, and now let's get back to work. And one, and come on in. All right, now I want you to just rest your heels on the bar here and just shimmy down on the carriage a little bit so you're not right against the shoulder rest. We're gonna do what I refer to as the hundreds start. So all I want you to do is come up with your chest, Eyes drop down the horizon and your arms float up and then lower back down. This is how we get into the start position for an exercise called the hundreds and come back down. You're going to exhale up, inhale to lower down. If you'd like to make this harder, what you can do is lift one leg into tabletop as you come up and bring it back down as you lower down and then switch. Lift the other leg up and lower down. So I'm just bringing the foot off the bar and come up 
Now, if you want to make it even more challenging, you can lift both heels off the bar when you come up. Remember, you have options. You can keep them down if you like. You can lift one up at a time or both. Let's exhale as we come up. Last four and inhale down. Three and lower down. Two, hopefully you can feel your abs working here. And one and lower down. All right. We're going to grab the straps here. So these loops behind you and then push the carriage out. Take one foot off the bar and place it in the loop. Take the other foot off the bar and place that one in the loop. Then bring your legs to tabletop and then press them out and return. Exhale to press, inhale to return. So this is really similar to footwork, right? The difference is the straps can move around, right? Our goal is to keep them going in a straight line. So this requires a little bit more work than with our feet on the foot bar. Four more, four, and you're paying attention to the position of the pelvis, right? Same as before, we don't want the pelvis rocking forward and back. Hold it there with your legs straight. Now lift the legs up and lower them down. You're gonna bring them up only as high as you can without your pelvis tilting back. So as the legs come up, you wanna think of sinking the tailbone down. Then you're gonna feel that extra stretch in the hamstring, especially if you're a little tight there. Let's do four more. Four, exhale to lower. Three, it should feel really good. Two, and on one, we're gonna hold the legs up. We're gonna open out to the sides and come back in. This is an adductor stretch, inner thigh stretch. Open and close. Just do it two times and then bring the legs back down. Bring the legs up, you inhale. Open, two. Exhale as you open. And then exhale as you pull the legs back down. They're gonna be on that diagonal line when you pull them down. Lift, open two times reach and lower down bring the legs up open for two and bring the legs down one more time lift reach out to the sides for two and one and go back to that start position let's take the straps now off your feet and we're going to place them in your hands if you have shorter loops, double loops, like I have here, you can hold the shorter loops if you want a little bit more resistance. Otherwise, it's okay to hold the longer loops. That's fine. Remember, you come off the shoulder rest a little bit, so we shimmy down. Bring your legs to tabletop and reach your arms to the ceiling. We're going to pull down and come back up. Exhale, pull. Inhale, come back up. Now, some call this the mid-back series. It really is preparation for an exercise called the coordination that we'll do at a later time. So let's exhale as you pull, inhale as you lift the arms up. This is really good for the back of the shoulder, the rear delts, your lats, which are underneath the shoulder, and your triceps. Let's do two more and one more. We're just going to change the arm position. Open them out to the sides. Pull from here and open. Exhale as you pull. So I always think of a gymnast. You know, they do that iron cross. It's a lot harder than what we're doing, but it's the same muscles. Exhale, pull. Inhale to open. We've got five. Keep the breath flowing. Four. That's it. Palms are facing your seat. Three. And last one coming up. And open. Beautiful. All right. You can return the carriage and come on up. 
let's go into a little back rowing. So for back rowing, I'm going to go to just one heavy, one red spring. And I'm going to have a seat on the carriage. You can fold your legs in front of you, or you can take them out over the headrest. I have to cross mine to get them between the shoulder rests. Then I'm going to hold on to those shorter loops if you've got them, longer loops if you don't, it's fine. And I'm just going to do the plow. I pull back and come forward. So I'm sitting tall. It's very similar to what we did when we were laying down. It's the same arm movement. But now we're with us sitting up, you're working more of your back muscles. You're holding your body still, not letting it waver forward and back. Three more, pull. Use that exhale as you pull. And one more time. Now we're going to go into open elbows. So I want you to take the straps and bring them up to the crease in the elbow here. I love this one for posture. You're going to sit tall and you open the elbows out to the side and then bring them back in front of you. Your palms frame your head. So as you open the arms to the side, the palms are facing you. And then when you bring your arms in front, the palms are facing you. Open and close. I want you to feel your shoulder blades gliding together and then coming apart as you come forward. Open and close. You can use your exhale here on that exertion. Open. Beautiful. Let's do four more. Four. We're going to really work those posture muscles. And three. Open. Exhale. Two. Sitting tall. And one. Come back to the front. Put the straps in your hands. And if you haven't done it already, recross your legs so the other one's on top. It feels a little weird at first, but it's good to make sure that you keep that kind of balance in even sitting positions. If you reach back behind you, there should be about a hand's width distance between where your, the bottom of your seat is and the edge of the carriage, because we're going to roll back. Holding onto the straps, breathe in. As you exhale, sink back, pulling the straps in. And then we're just going to come back up, sitting tall. So exhale, roll back, hands pulling into the chest. Inhale, rise up, stack the spine tall again. So we flex the spine, pulling the hands close to the chest. And then we lengthen back up right on top of the sit bones. Exhale back. Inhale. Right up. Again, roll back. And come up. Three more. Roll back. Come on up. Two more. Sink back. Feel the abs really working as you pull back. You're rolling the hips back, getting that spine flexion, and then coming up to the top. We're going to turn and face the side. I'm going to keep the springs the same. I'm going to keep it at the one red spring. And I'm going to sit with my legs folded in front of me. If this is hard for you, you can sit on a cushion or a pillow to rise your seat up. Then I'm going to hold the shorter loop. Again, either loop is fine. Shorter one's going to give me more range and more resistance. And I'm going to turn so that my sternum is right in line with my hands. And then I rotate the rib cage and turn to the other side. Exhale and inhale, come back. Rotate and return. Right around. And open back. Turn. And come back. Right around. And we've got five. Try to keep your arms in that same shape the whole time. Four. Look over your hands so your head's going with you. Three. And two. And one. And bring it all the way back. Beautiful. Let's go. And do that same thing, turning and facing the other direction. So this is really good for your obliques. Here we go. 
hold a loop, hand closest to it, the other one laces over the top, and turn and return. Exhale around. Think of growing. So as I turn, I think of spiraling up. If you want a good image, it's like that barbershop pole that spirals. It goes up as it turns and comes back. I want you to keep your weight centered on your sit bone. So avoid leaning onto one sit bone and then the other. Try to keep the weight right in the center. Four more, four, and right around. Three, and two. One more time, guys, and back. We're gonna face the front now. And you can keep your legs folded or you can straighten them out, whatever is most comfortable for you. And I'm gonna grab the other strap. Sitting tall, we're gonna pull forward and come back. Now I'm gonna grab those shorter loops again so I get a little bit more resistance. Pull forward, palms are forward. Sitting up tall, exhale forward, inhale to return. Nice controlled movements. Even by just changing our position, facing front, facing back, facing side, you are working different muscles that help you stay upright. So they're the core muscles that we're working just by turning around. That's it, four more. One of the awesome things about this piece of equipment, all the variety. Two more times. And now hold them up and then turn your palms to face each other. Think chest flies if you do fitness. Open and close. But we call this hug a tree, right? Because it looks, when you bring your arms around, it looks like you're hugging a giant tree trunk. And open back. It's really going to work the muscles in the chest and the front of the shoulders. A little bit of arm work too. Pull. Now sit right up on top of those sit bones. Stay tall. Five. Inhale, open. Four. And three. Open back out. Exhale, two. And on one, you're just going to drop the elbows behind you with your palms up. We're going to do the offering. This is more of a stretch. So you're going to reach forward. Let's keep the palms facing up as you open out. Feel that stretch. Come back to the center, and then just lower the elbows back again. Reach, exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And come back in, staying nice and tall. Reach. Open. Close. Return. Doesn't that feel great? Reach. Breathe in as you open. Exhale to close. Lower it back down. Let's do one more. Reach, wide, back, and lower back down. All right, now we're going to take the straps and put them back. And we're going to turn to the side again. And we're going to do a side bend known as the mermaid. I still have the one heavy or one red spring on. I'm going to take my legs and I'm going to turn them so they're in what's called a shin box. So my front shin is parallel to the edge of the reformer. My side shin is parallel to the shoulder rest. I'm gonna lift my arm up, press out and flex over. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Come back up and lower down. Now the other arm will lift and you stretch over. If this bothers your knee, you can just crisscross your legs in front of you or even dangle them over the side. Exhale, press. Inhale, come back up and down. Now the other side. First you reach up, then we go over to the side. Come back up and down. Breathe in. Exhale over. So this is a really good mobility exercise for the hips and for laterally spine bending. Up and over. Good stretch. Sit tall first and then do the other side. 
over and down. Let's do it again. Lift, over, up and down. And other side, lift up. Right over here. Come up and down. All right, let's turn around and do that same thing facing the other side. So again, you have to turn your legs toward the shoulder rest, like so. Then you're going to take your hand, lift it, side bend over. Come back, sit tall, lower that arm to the shoulder rest. The foot bar arm lifts, and then you go up and over to the other side. Come up and down. Your breath just keeps flowing. Breathe in as the arm goes up. Exhale as you press away. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, lower the arm. Lift the other arm up. Breathe in. Exhale up and over. Come on back up and then lower the arm. Lift. Press over. Come up and down. Try to keep the spine nice and long as you reach that arm way up. And go over to the side. Come up and down. Let's do it again. Reach. Side bend over. Come up and down. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Inhale up. Exhale over. Come up and down. We've got one more. Lift. Come right over. Come up and lower down. Other side. Lifting up. Stretch over. Come up and down. All right, now we're gonna go down onto our back again. And we're gonna do a little bit of leg work here and glute work. So I'm gonna go to just three red or three heavy springs. I'm coming down onto the carriage. And you remember when we did the lower lift in our footwork? We're gonna do that same thing. Legs together, lift the heels. Push out. And now instead of lowering both of them, you're gonna lower one heel as you bend the other knee. Come up and switch, and switch. So think of like the Clydesdale horses. If you think of their legs when they move, they come all the way up tall, and then one leg bends, and the other heel reaches under. Right like that. Up and then down. Switching each time. And you can pick up the pace here a little bit. As long as you hit all those points coming up and then down. And we inhale for two. Exhale for two. Breathe in for two. Exhale for two. Let's do it again. Breathe in for two. Exhale for two. Last time. In for two, exhale for two. Now both up and then bend your knees and come in. Take your heels and place them on the foot bar. About hip distance apart, not too wide. Then I want you to lift your seat off the carriage. So you should be able to slide a hand underneath your lower back and underneath your bum. It's just hovering there. You're gonna push the carriage out without lifting the tailbone. You wanna keep it just hovering right above the carriage. And then you bend your knees, same thing, return it all the way. Exhale, press out. Inhale to return. Now you really should be feeling that engagement in the backside, right? The glutes, the hamstrings, and come back in. The goal, is to keep that movement out and back without lifting or lowering your bum, keeping it the same height above the carriage the whole time, and without allowing the tailbone to curl under as you come in. You wanna keep the tailbone pointed straight out the whole time. Let's do five and bring it in. Four, inhale to come in. Three, and two, one more, and we're done with the hip lift, one. And then bring the hips back to the carriage. Now we're gonna do the hip roll. So the feet stay in the same spot, 
I'm going to tilt the pelvis back. Now I want to tilt the pelvis back and then I peel up the pelvis and then the lower back until I'm resting between my shoulder blades. Now I'm going to push back, the hips will lower. So I'm in one straight line from my heels to my mid back. As I bend my knees, I think of lifting the hips to keep the line at the front of the hip open. And then I roll down onto the carriage. So roll back the hips and peel off the carriage. Breathe in. Exhale, push out. Inhale, come in. The hips are up. You hold the hips up as you round the spine and roll it back down onto the carriage again. Let's do it again. Exhale, peel up. Inhale there, then exhale, press back. Come back in, and then roll down. Let's do it again. Rolling up, pressing back, coming back in, and roll down. Again, exhale up. Inhale at the top, exhale, press back. Come back in and roll down. We've got two more. Roll up, push back, come back in, and roll down one more. Nice and controlled. Peel up, press out. Lift those hips as you come in. Keep those glutes engaged, and then roll down. Okay, come on up, and let's do a little stretch for our hip flexors and our hamstrings. I'm going to go to one red and one blue, one heavy and one light spring. I'm going to stand on the floor next to the reformer with my foot all the way forward on the floor next to the front leg of the reformer. My back foot goes against the shoulder rest, and I'm resting my knee right on the carriage. Hands on the foot bar. I'm going to sink into a, a lunge and then press back. So this is a modification of our single thigh stretch. I sink down, and now when you push, push with your feet, not so much with your arms. Try to push your feet apart. You feel that difference in the stretch then? Come forward and rise up. You can breathe on an inhale to sink. Exhale to press out. Inhale to bend your knee, keeping your hips low here, and exhale to rise back up. So push that carriage out and just sink down. Then press your feet apart and push back. Come forward and rise back up. Again, sink, press back, pushing your feet apart. Come forward and up. Two more. Beautiful stretch here in the hip flexor and a little bit in the hamstring, depending on how tight you are there. Let's do one more here down and push forward and come up. Let's hop on over to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Foot on the floor, right up next to the front leg of the reformer. I'm going to sink down into my deep lunge. And then I push my feet apart to press back. Come forward and rise up. Let's do it again. Sink down. Now push the feet apart. Exhale. Come forward. Keep the hips sinking and then rise up. So once I press back, I keep the back leg behind me and bend that front knee. Feel the increase in the stretch when you focus on that back leg staying laid out back there, especially here, and rise up. Again, sink and push. Come forward and up. Last two, down. See if you can go a little further, pushing your feet a little further apart. Forward and up. Last one, sink. Push back, forward and up. All right, to finish, let's get a little extension in our spine here. So I'm going to come on to the carriage, kneeling with my feet against the shoulder rest. I put my hands on the foot bar. I'm still going to use the one red and one blue spring, the same springs we had before. Then let's start with just some spine movement. So hands on the bar, hips are back, not on the feet, but close to the feet. And I'm going to curl my tailbone under and just round my spine. 
Then I'm going to extend the spine, lifting the chest, lifting the tailbone. And reverse it. Start from the tail, exhale, and flex the spine into that nice C curve. And then lengthen, going right through our long line and into extension. So lift up the sit bones, lift up the sternum. And again, exhale, flex, and go into extension. Now let's move the carriage on this. So come into that flex position. Then as you start to lengthen, the carriage will move out just a little bit. And then as you flex and curl the tailbone under, the carriage comes back in. Doesn't move a lot, but you're moving the carriage by lengthening your spine and then you're bringing it back in by flexing the spine. Press away and return. Press away, extend, you feel that? Now we're gonna add. First, we're gonna lengthen the spine. Now we're gonna push the legs out and just let the hips kind of sink here, chest is up. That's all we're doing today. This is a modification of the down stretch. You're gonna bring the knees underneath you and then just round your spine. Doesn't that feel great? Come into that C curve. So again, first thing, lengthen the spine, moving the carriage back a little bit. Then continue to push the carriage out by extending the leg. Come back in to the start. Beautiful, let's do it again. Lengthen the spine, press the carriage out, find your extended position in the hips and the spine. And exhale, come back in, just keep the breath flowing. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, press that carriage out. Woo! And then exhale. Come all the way back in. Give me an inhale when you return. Two more. Lengthen and press. Return. All the way in. Last one, guys. Lengthen the spine. Press back. Lift the sternum. And then round the spine and come all the way in. Hey guys, if you like this workout, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to see more workouts, thousands of them without any ads or interruptions, check out jgtv.com. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Hey everybody, thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed that workout. And if you did, I hope that you will join us over on John Gary TV. John Gary TV has over a thousand workouts that include Reformer, Pilates, Matt, and Fitness. We are your at-home Pilates and Fitness Studio. Right now, if you sign up, you'll get 50% off your first month. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a Reformer. If you've got a mat, you can have a mat membership. If you've got some fitness gear, you can have a mat and fitness membership. Or if you've got a reformer, you can have an all access membership. We've got you covered. So I hope you'll join us over on johngarytv.com today.